450 kids inside the West Palm Beach Marriott Ballroom are getting down to business. The students represent 10 future business leaders of America chapters inside the Palm Beach County School District. It's been a huge, great event, a huge turnout, maximum capacity, excitement, all the major things that were going on here was just incredible. Every participant in FBLA is a winner. I think it teaches a lot of leadership qualities, um, helps for the future, especially if you're going into business, um, how to handle things. That's Emma, who's involved in Seminole Ridge's brand new FBLA chapter. Go Seminole Ridge FBLA! The schools who participate follow the lead of the strategic plan which calls for effective and relevant instruction to meet the needs of all students. FBLA is an extracurricular activity, but many members, like these Dwyer students, participate in their school's business academies. At the fall rally, there are speeches, competitions to create the best display board, and the highlight is the battle of the chapters. Every team answers FBLA-related questions. In the end, the duo from Dwyer dominate. What is a majority vote? 51%. Correct. There are trophies for first, second, and third. Palm Beach Gardens High School senior Charles Vaccaro is the District 20 president of FBLA. He is a member of the largest chapter in the country. FBLA is really all about, to me it's all about friendship and doing everything with your friends. Like to me these are like more than friends, like these are my family and I, I love it. Like I go on trips with my friends, I do stuff like this with them and it's very comforting and it's great. Charles hopes the next big trip he takes with his Gardens family is to Anaheim, California for the FBLA National Competition. I'm Rick Blackwell, reporting for the Education Network, keeping you informed.